So full-blown substitution model, right? Let me make sure everybody's getting started on the right foot. Right, I'm going to do one line of it. So op gets bound to plus. Initial gets bound to zero. Sequence is the list one, two, three. So now here we are in accumulate. <coughs> Sequence is not null. So we, we do this, we rewrite to this expression. Op is plus. Car of sequence. Sequence is one, two, three. Car of it is one. And then a recursive call. Critter of sequence is two, three. Hey, guys, notice I made the list shorter. Here's this. Okay, so when you're done, bother your neighbor. Make sure they agree with you. Let me walk it through. Most of the people I spoke with have got it, so I hope I hope if you if you're not there yet, like you're close. I hope. Okay, so we just did. This is the first rewrite. So now we're going to call accumulate again. Uh, I'll do it the long form. So we'll write out what we had previously. So now, what does this get rewritten as? We go into accumulate. Um, and initial is still zero. Sequence is not null, so we do another, renew another recursive call. So op is plus. We add together the car of the sequence. The sequence is the list two, three now, so the car is two. And a recursive call. We hand back in the op procedure. We hand back in the, by the way, initial is the base case at the end. That's those are synonyms in this instance. And then we could her down the list. So now the list is a list of one item, the item three. And we can close the prints. OK. So well, we're not done yet. OK. So now we're going to accumulate with this as the starting point. Um, sequence is still not null. So we're in the else case. So we're going to op 
car sequence is the list two three. The car of that is the number three, and to a recursive call. So we're adding three to a recursive call. Hand in the operator. Hand in the base case. And what's what's um, the sequence now? It's empty list. Yeah, we we had a list of one item. Now we have a list of no items. We have empty list. Okay, so now we're at the point where we can unwind the recursion. So when we when we evaluate this, to there, that produces the base case. So null is the sequence is null. The empty list is null, and so then we hand back the initial value of the base case. So we hand back the zero. So at, at this point, we're ready to unwind the additions. So the first pair of numbers that actually get added together, it's 3 and 0. So it's the last item in the list. And the initial base case, that's the first actual addition. So we add 3 and 0 and get 3. And now we can add 2 and 3 and get 5. And now we can add 1 and 5 and get 6. So there it is. Um, so that, that's this structure of um, like recursively unpacking and then recombining from right to left. That's the, the model for all accumulations that we're going to be dealing with. And in fact, it's, well, it says it here. Yeah, I, what I just stated is already written down. So the recursion unwinds from the right, from right to left, and there is a synonym for this, for this accumulate procedure that's given in the book in racket, fold R. So fold the operations from right to left. Um, okay. All right, look, any, any questions? Things clarify, surprises. Yeah, Chris. So does fold and accumulate only work on regular lists, or can does, will it also work if you, you know, let's say you have a list of pairs? Oh yeah, good question. So it works on all sorts of lists. Um, actually, on Friday we'll be looking at trees, which are lists of lists. And, um, and actually on the flag page we're going to do some more interesting things with, with fold. So at this point, fold is what we've been examining is we've been using plus as the combining operation. And we're, we're dealing with numbers. But you can fold together more complex objects. Yeah. And that's where we're going.